imagine going 350,000 years to the past, where Adam and Eve have just bought onto two corners of our new world. Let's suppose for this example that they can only walk in one direction and proceed to do so. Can we possibly predict where they meet so that we can set up some kind of romantic dinner table? Yes. If we take both of their paths as lines and both of those lines as a simultaneous equation, we can figure this out. But I am too lazy to do that. I want a computer to do that for me. Heck, I want a computer to be able to solve any simultaneous equation for me. Bro, I learned algebra back in like 6th grade. Don't get ahead of yourself. Linear algebra in its simplest terms means line-like relationships. Lines are great tools to be able to observe patterns in data and make accurate predictions from them. There are two important components to define our linear algebra problem. Vectors are a list of numbers where the order matters. In physics terms, vectors have both magnitude and direction. Here's my friend Bob, whose day-to-day -day routines will help us better understand these concepts. Bob takes this route to the nearby supermarket every day. Facing the supermarket and walking towards it would have had the same overall effect with a lesser magnitude. Unfortunately, the market has been relocated. We can now represent the distance he must walk by scaling our vector by a number. There is another way to represent vectors than column vectors. We can use the unit vectors i hat and j hat that represent one unit in the horizontal and vertical directions, respectively. Think of a matrix as an Excel spreadsheet with rows and columns. A matrix can represent one of two things, information or transformation. An earthquake occurred and the entire earth just rotated 90 degrees clockwise. Bob desperately wants to go to the library to reunite with his family, but he doesn't know where it is. By representing the final location of the unit vectors as a transformation, we can have it act on any input vector to find our output vector. Luckily, Bob used a time stone that he found on the floor to reverse the effects. A transformation that could do so is called an inverse matrix. Now back to our Adam and Eve problem. We can think of the four coefficients we have as a transformation, our x and y values as the input vector, and our constants as the output. How cool is that? By multiplying with the inverse matrix on both sides, we cancel out on the left, and the inverse calculation can be done on the right. We now got our point of intersection. On substituting just characters for the coefficients, we can devise an algorithm for this problem, allowing us to solve any simultaneous equation. Defining problems through linear algebra is very crucial because it allows us to model many real-world phenomena that we see around us today and also solve any problem of that type as we showed with the simultaneous equations. From Google's search engine to facial recognition to robotics to even graphic design, linear algebra doesn't plan on going anywhere. So the next time you have a problem to solve, think of a different solution for it.